Casey Middlestad. Good morning, Kate. It is a good morning. I mean, I don't need to say good morning. We already know you're having a great morning. 7.5 million reasons why you're having a great morning for three years. How's it going? It's going well. Uh, yeah, pretty normal morning for me, but um, obviously it's it's been good for sure. And um, more relieved to have some done and, and be ready for camp. Do you mean Casey, that? Casey, they announced it Hold this on, morning. Marty. But, Hold on, Marty. Hold on. Go ahead. Do you really mean that? Just another normal morning for you? Well, this is, no, the, the, it's not this normal, is, this is big. This is, normal this is a big deal. Of, no, normal along the lines of just working out and skating. But, um, no, it's obviously a really good morning. Obviously, I, I want to be in Buffalo, and um, we want to figure this out. And, um, yeah, so it, it's exciting for sure. And, like I said, I'm, I'm ready to get out there and, and start getting it going. Marty, and Casey, before. we uh, we saw the Islanders announce four contracts at the same time. They probably were signed two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, when did you sign your contract? Did it happen late last night, yesterday, and they took 24 hours to announce it? When did you get a copy and you were able to put pen to paper? Um, I was actually I'm leaving to go out to Buffalo tomorrow, so I, I was actually uh, just out at dinner with all my friends. So it was, it was kind of funny, but. Um, yeah, so I, I just signed it at dinner, and then, um, yeah, it, it all moved pretty fast once once we figured it out, and, um, you, yeah, it wasn't too tough. Did you, you pick better up the si- tab? Yeah, you better sign the bitter like... bill, too. <laughs> oh, I've, I I tried, but my friends don't, they don't like when I do that, so um, they didn't allow me to pick up the tab, but I, I happily huh. would have for sure. Or were they hockey players? Yeah, they're, yeah, a bunch of my college teammates, um, that are all just living around here and uh yeah so we just went we were grabbing sushi and um pretty much just saying goodbye and it ended up working out like that and you were you were originally taking them all out for the goodbye dinner uh i mean yeah we just planned it just to go see each other one more time and um obviously they're they're most of them are done with hockey so they're just they're just working now and uh so dinner was pretty much the only thing that that we could fit in all right. Well, uh, what a nice time to be able to sign a nice contract with your buddies. What, I want to what, ask you a question yeah. about the contract again. Sorry, PD. Um, no, go for how it. How much involvement did you have? Because I know some players don't like it. Some players call their agents three times a day. I, I want to see if you, uh, if you like the process and how much uh, involvement did you have? Um, I mean, I didn't have a ton of involvement. I think my, my agent did a really good job and, um, I'm a little more standoffish. I'm I'm not that smart, I think, in that part of the uh, in that part of the game. So I, I trust him, and, and I kind of let him handle it. And um, when he calls, I, I answer and and give my opinion. But other than that, I I just let him handle it and, and let the two sides talk. And um, it seemed like it went pretty smoothly. So I, I was happy with it. So what have your conversations been for what's on the table for you in terms of ice time? where you'll play, who you'll play with, and expectations that you're putting on yourself for this season? Yeah, uh, I honestly haven't had uh, too many conversations about um, expectations for this year. I think that'll that'll come with, with time here at camp and um, once you get back in and start talking to everyone. But obviously I have high expectations for myself. I expect myself to, to go out and play well and um, – yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. It was a good summer, uh, worked hard, and then just, just go out and, and try to play my game and, and continue to develop. How will I, I have one question about this year, Casey. How, how will you and your teammates uh, handle or, I guess, feel about what's going on with Jack? I mean, how do you guys avoid, not avoid it, or I guess, yeah, just kind of deal with the whole situation and try to ignore it and move on? Yeah, um, obviously it's a tough situation, but at the same time, we're we're all friends with Jack. It's not; it won't be weird for any anyone to see him or anything like that. I'm I'm excited to see him and say hi. And um, yeah, but at the same time, I think we'll, we'll just have to channel it and, and block it out at times. And obviously, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions about it at camp. But uh, we've got a really good young group, and and we're all really close. So obviously, there's a there's a, a few new guys that will have to slide in there, but. Um, I don't think that'll be a problem, and and we'll learn to just block it off and, and just go play hockey. Well, obviously, I mean Jack not 
factoring maybe in the plans right now is a big opportunity for you. Uh, you know, as one of the top center on the team, I was trying to explain earlier in the show how going from 14 minutes a game to over 17 minutes a game is a big jump. And it had to give you a confidence boost when Don Granado uh, was giving you 17 plus minutes. I, I don't know if you can explain how it felt for you confidence wise to be able to play those extra three and a half minutes a game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know for, for someone who doesn't know hockey, that, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's crazy. Um, just coming off and knowing that you're going to be back out there soon, you get in such a good rhythm and you get a few, a few extra touches. Even if you get three extra touches in, in three minutes, it's, it's crazy how much that can help you and, and keep you going. And, um, yeah, I think you just play looser. Your confidence is higher because you know you're going to get back out there. You make better plays. and um, yeah, I think that's about it. it, it you're, you are right. It is hard to explain. But I think more than anything, it's, it's just the rhythm of it. Let me ask you this. I said to Marty, I said, uh, what a difference a year makes. I said, because last year, you know, I, I don't know where a lot of us, I say a lot of us in the media would have had you pegged, Casey, at the start of the year. I don't know where you would have had you pegged. I don't know where the team would have had you pegged. And here you are a year later signing a three-year extension for a lot of money. And you proved a lot of us wrong, myself included. I can't speak for Marty, but I I'll say Marty, included. Marty included. There's got to be some, some happiness in that. There's got to be some, you know, screw you guys. I'll show you, you know, what I can do. How does that feel to be able to do that? Yeah, yeah. Um... I mean, like you said, it, it definitely feels good, but at the same time, I think uh, the job isn't done. It's it's one year, and um, there's a long way to go, and obviously we have a lot of work to do to get to the point where we want to be, and uh, I want to be a big part of that, and, and I want to continue to get better moving forward. I think uh, going into last year, obviously, um, there, was, there was a lot of people saying things that you know I, I didn't quite agree with, but... Um, I don't know. The belief in myself never changed, and you just go home and, and work harder and find things that you need to work on and uh, just keep getting better. And um, that's what I did. I'm going to continue to do that. I, I don't go on social media or hear too much too much about that stuff. So I just try to stay in my lane and, and continue to get better. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Sorry, Marty, one more. I'm proud of you. And I, the, one, the last thing I'll, I'll, I'll add to that, Casey, is your maturity. I mean, listening to you speak, you have you have taken off uh, in in the maturity uh, aspect of, of life and, and being a pro athlete. You made some comments last year about your off ice habits and approach. Um, do you have your eye on a leadership role on this team? Because it sounds like you know, with your maturity and the way you're speaking and the role you're going to take on on the ice, it it sounds like like there's potential there for you to take on a leadership role as well. Yeah. Um... You know, it's a, it's a little bit different than when I got there. We're going to have a lot of young guys. And, um, yeah, I mean, I would like to take on a leadership role. At the same time, I'm not going to go in there and force it. I'm not I'm not the biggest rah-rah guy yelling, but I, I would like to lead by example. And um, especially some of those the younger guys, I, I just don't want them to, to make the same mistakes I did. I look back at some of the stuff that I did. I, was, I mean, it wasn't the best ideas, but... Um, that's part of growing up and, and learning, and I think uh, I'll continue to do that. Obviously, there's still things that, that I need to work on, and um, yeah, I, more than anything, I just want to want to be able to talk to the guys and let them know that I'm, I'm approachable and um, I can help them in any way. Oh, okay, we, see, I know you have to go, so um, yeah, busy man, busy man, yeah. a lot of requests coming up for you, Casey. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. Can't wait to see you in Buffalo soon at the Harbor Center, and congrats on the new deal, bud. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. I'll see you soon.